Welcome to part of my journey building a three liter BMW M20. And this is 12 weeks waiting for custom pistons. Uh, these are 85 millimeter bore, 89.6 millimeter stroke custom pistons to use an S52 or M54 three liter crank in an M20. So without further ado, let's get into it. These were made by CP Pistons and I called VSC Motorsports 12 weeks ago and just asked them kind of what the wait time was on these. They said uh, 10 to 12 weeks and now it's been 12 weeks. Also, I called CP directly just to see if they had a better estimate of the wait time and they said it was the exact same. And now that they're here 12 weeks later, it looks like that is the case. So, ooh, ah, let's check this out. So this is what you get. Season's greetings, since it's Christmas. Thank you the mostest from Mr. Tony. Always got some VAC Motorsports stick-ons. Cool. And let's take the pistons out of the box. We'll get this other box out of the way here. Ooh, ah, custom pistons. Yep, you know it. This is a huge moment for any car person. Uh, I would imagine when you finally unbox stuff you've been waiting on for a long time and that you're anticipating for a build of yours. So. Let's take a look. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like we've got the ring clips, uh, the wrist pin clips that hold it in. And let's take a look. Here's our sheet. So these are for an M20, 3.1 liters M20 nine and a half to one compression ratio and 135 millimeter rod length. So 89.6 millimeter stroke. So that's what I'm building. I went with the nine and a half to one compression ratio uh, based on a suggestion by Real Street Performance. They have some really high horsepower stuff that runs mid nine compression ratio. I wanted to run higher just to get a little bit more snappy around town, but I do plan on running this motor on flex fuel. And so I figured it would be best to have a compression ratio that would suit uh, gasoline on low boost. So for about one bar boost, we'll keep it on gasoline and then turn it up on alcohol later. So there's an installation guide comes with it. And there's the ring packages. You could uh, pop one of these open, I suppose. Take a look at it. I know you guys are waiting for it. You just want to see that beautiful set of pistons like I do, but let's just take a look, see here. Just so everyone knows what these come with. Okay. Looks like just a typical set of piston rings. Special piston rings for special pistons. Okay, cool. So you got your six of those. And let me see if I can take out. <gasps> no, don't look. No, don't look. Okay, you can look. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at that billet goodness. You are looking at this in 4K and it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? There we go. Wow, they are light. Like compared to any other piston that I have, uh, just chilling in the garage, I've got a bunch of different M50 and uh, M20 pistons. This feels like nothing. I'll measure it for you as well, but man, that just feels crazy. So as you can see, they are dished and then they just have big old valve reliefs. That's the biggest thing about the M20 is the valve reliefs. They have a really big intake valve 
and exhaust and they're very close to the edge of the bore. So I was worried that this would be very thin, but they do. it looks like they do a really good job um, of leaving some material there. Wow, I literally can't get over this. This is incredible. I've never purchased anything nice for a car in my life. I usually just run stock sloppy mechanic stuff and this is quite the change up. So, wow. I'll get some close ups of those guys for you. Um, wrist pin, just the uh, standard old wrist pin. And yeah, so this motor will be going together really soon. 85 millimeter bore, three liter stroke. And uh, yeah, I'll get some B-roll of this and give you guys a look-see. You can have a little bit of a, an eye candy moment. Thanks for watching, you guys are awesome. Follow for the rest of the build. We're looking to make about 600 horsepower on this motor. So if you don't want to miss that, stay tuned.